Yo guys, welcome to the video. This is Josh, your Milky, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about All Flames and Scarabs, and also some strong boxes. Three things that we've been focusing on quite heavily at the start of this league. Three things that are dominating in terms of uh, how people are making currency. Obviously, everyone needs Scarabs for every strategy, and a lot of things have changed with the patch, especially with how we're going to use All Flames, and also with the availability of certain Scarabs. There are some that are far more common now. You'll see here, I have 12 of this Horned Scarab of Nemesis, uh, you know, yesterday that would be unheard of, but these were all natural drops. These ones I did buy to try out and they sucked, but these ones were all naturally dropped. So you can see there's a big increase in some of the scarabs. But today we're going to talk about how people are abusing all flames, myself included. I'm not going to lie, I have done this as well. I've been trying it out today, and that is with strong boxes. There is a way to scale the number of rewards you can get from an all flame from the measly one which you would get if you came and did a map let's take one for example um, to show you so if we come in we grab this tropical island and we put it in the map you're going to see that we immediately get met with this screen and you could change all these mobs into um, this tainted uh, sorry this all flame ember of trial cause and it's going to make this pack of mobs drop catalysts and you might think great i'm going to get a few catalysts this is obviously you may, maybe sometimes you get it with 600% quantity with the development modifier and you're feeling pretty good about yourself. Well, I want to show you today, at least uh, from what I've seen, the best use case scenario for some of these all flames if you're someone that wants to farm them. But today I thought I'd go over this because it's how people are absolutely printing scarabs, catalyst, tainted currency, even chaos orbs in some respects with some of the other all flames. So we're going to go over that. And also, we're going to talk about the changes to uh, Meat Sack. So Meat Sack, you'll know I made a video a few days ago saying that Meat Sack was the best one to use if you got a mod that read like this. The strongest monster in your pack gets dropped weapons converted to instilling orbs. So this could be anything. This could also be divine orbs. Now, this has in fact changed. They added with one of the patches this all flame ember of anarchy and the pack becomes composed of rogue exiles. This is now the much better option over Meat Sack in those situations. So for anything like Scarab conversion, map conversion, or divine orb conversion, you definitely want to be using these rogue exiles. Now that is specifically for when you are converting loot into those things. Now if you get yourself the chance to drop an item, if it says additional chance to drop a divine orb, you still want to use the thing that has the highest pack size, like this old flame ember of rats. It has 15 to 19 monsters. That should make sense, right? Because if each individual mob has 6% chance to drop an item, the only thing you care about doing is increasing the number of those mobs in your map. You don't want to reduce it by adding two to four rogue exiles. So I did get a lot of questions on that. That is how you should use them moving forward. They did get nerfed. You are going to see them substantially less, but that is where you should use them now. So get that out of the way. Now, what are we doing today with strong boxes? Well, I'll show you. First, we're going to put into the map device two ambush scarabs. We're going to put them separate so they actually get used one hidden compartments and one containment. What this is going to do is it's going to take all the monsters in our map and put them into strong boxes. We can then add on 10 more strong boxes and that's an, and then another five when you consider the Kirak, which means we're going to have roughly 45 strong boxes and we're going to have 15% chance plus the 16 from the tree percent chance to open them again. So 45 and then 31% chance to open them again, which is a lot of strong boxes. Yo, real quick, this is Milky, the future Milky, who's editing the video, and he realized that past Milky is a bit of a moron, and he used the wrong scarab in the showcase. You should definitely be using an ambush scarab of discernment. Um, we'll talk about why at least. But then we can do one more thing, and that's throw in the Val Temple. The Val Temple has an implicit that reads, area contains 10 additional guarded Val vessels. These are strong boxes, and they summon the same mobs that normal strong boxes do. If you've been watching the other videos, you should know where I'm going with this. So we've just increased the number of strong boxes in our map from 45 to 55, and we can now make it so every single mob that gets spawned from these strong boxes is the mob of our choosing. And and the mob that we're going to choose for this example is a mob that drops scarabs, the All Flame Ember of Syndicate. So we come in here and we turn all these mobs, every single one of them, we're going to turn them into Syndicate mobs. I don't actually think I have enough to do it because this one is too low level. So we're going to have seven. Unfortunate for the video that I got one with eight. It's very uncommon to do that, but we will adapt. We'll put some catalysts on the end. So then I can open this map. And we're going to go in, and I'm not going to run this whole map because these do these maps do take a considerable amount of time. 
Uh, obviously, you've got 55 strong boxes, and then you've got 33% chance to open all them again. So it's like, what? You end up having about 80 clicks on the strong boxes on average. So we come in, and the first thing you're going to notice when I click this Vile Vessel is it's going to summon monsters that drop scarabs. Brilliant. we got three scarabs there, and a nice little forbidden tome. Same with the diviners. We're going to click this, and we start dropping more scarabs. And this would obviously continue throughout the map. I'm not going to bore you to death by sitting here and clicking all these boxes like I'm playing Path of Building because it's going to take up 50 minutes of your time and I respect your time more than that. So I will show you at the end of the video how many scarabs I got from this one single map. Um, I imagine it will be a few inventories worth. So here we are. We're about six or seven minutes into the future and that is a big pile of scarabs in my stash right there. You can see all the ones that we got. Uh, it is quite an abundant amount now these maps do cost a little bit to run obviously the maps themselves are about 30 chaos uh, to get all those seven syndicates is going to set you back about 70 chaos as well and then with the scarabs we're talking about a divine and a bit investment so very pricey on the map but you'll see very quickly that we're going to make that money back with all these scarabs we've got six ambush scarabs we've got all the harby scarabs that are very 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 uh sought after right now a lot of people wanting to run harbinger so these are like 20 to a divine in bulk, so 5c each, for, or, or a bit more, maybe like 6 or 7c each. Uh, these are like 18 to a divine in bulk, so you can see uh, the price definitely starts to add up when you combine all these scarabs. We did get three horned scarab of nemesis as well. This one, as I said, is very common, but you can see kind of where this goes. And if you were to do this an awful lot, you'd be getting a ton of scarabs. You'd be able to sell them in an extreme amount of bulk at a massive upsell, and you'll be chilling. So we'll go into the... Uh, Alice Tree and we'll see what happens how all this comes together we'll start at the bottom and work our way up we're starting of course with strong boxes we've clicked every strong box node on the Atlas Tree because we are using of course both wing scarabs now you could use two rusteds like I said erroneously at the start of this uh, part of the video but I would definitely recommend using the second winged uh, if you can they're only like 20 C each so for the cost of the map it's not adding on too much then we get the Necropolis stuff, just to give ourselves a nice little chance for our Syndicate mobs to have uh, those Devoted modifiers, and they'll drop more loot. Uh, we've got the All Flame stuff at the top, Blue Altars, just to get more quantity. We've got the chance for more uh, more likely to be less common variety of Scarabs, obviously huge for this strategy. And then all the effect of map modifiers. If you don't know how this works, essentially... If you take yourself a little map like this one, and we have 98%, 58%, 38% on the quant rarity and pack size, you can see at the top of the map, well, any amount of percent increase will apply to those numbers. So if we had 100% increased effect of map modifiers, then all of these would double, which is obviously um, a massive increase, especially because that's about where we're getting. We're getting up to that 85, 90 uh, domain where we're starting to, to almost double the effect of these modifiers. So very important that you roll... Um, uh, you try and get good Vile Temples, it's not the end of the world if you don't, of course, but getting that pack size is a very big deal. If you can, it will make a bit of a difference. And then we have, of course, a few map nodes. It's not super important to get the map nodes on this, as you are going to just be buying your Vile Temples. There's no way you're going to sustain them, but you are going to drop a few good maps from the Cartographers, so definitely worth clicking, in my opinion. Bit of chance for Delhi. You could drop the map nodes and go up to 100% chance for Delhi. I don't really think it's that important for this strategy. There are a lot of uh, kind of leftover points because there's just not that much you need for this you just need strong boxes juice them up kill the mobs click your scarabs that's about it now the blocking modifiers do work to the best of my knowledge on the loot that is dropped from the uh syndicate guys if you do notice yourself dropping scarabs from these they're probably from the strong boxes as strong boxes can roll the mod to drop specific scarabs i almost griefed myself thinking that when i first ran this but no they they seem to work um, so yeah, that's it's a pretty straightforward tree. It might seem very similar to the one we ran the other day for Ambush, but Ambush seems to be an absolute banger this league, um, even though we, we lost Enraged. Uh, so let, guys, I would love for you to let me know what you think about this kind of video. Obviously, this strategy is not going to be one that every single person that watches this video is going to be able to go and do for eight hours straight without any hiccups, without the prices going crazy. It's more just me showing you some dumb farm that people are doing. Here's the dumb thing that people are doing today to print currency and break the game. It's kind of just that. Um, uh, do you want me to make videos like this? Do you think I shouldn't? Uh, because I have another video that I did today as well. I farmed some harvest, but it was with a very rare scarab. Um, that Again, if I made the video, not many people would be able to do it, despite it being a very, very, very fun farm. It's probably the most fun farm I've done this league, um, but not very many people would be able to do it. And obviously, if the price went up, it's a very rare scarab. It's one of the horned ones. So let me know what you think. Is more just better? Do you want me to just make it?
all the content videos uh, that I come up with, obviously all the strategies, you just want me to share them all. Your guys' feedback is awesome on this kind of stuff because I don't really make that many YouTube videos. I'm trying to make a lot more this league because uh, I mean, it, there's a lot to make videos about. Um, and But if you've listened to me ramble this far, I, I hate rambling in videos. Um, I'm sorry. So I'll, I'll see you tomorrow for tomorrow's video. Let me know what you think about the ideas I just spoke about. And I appreciate you watching the video this far. If you've managed to stomach me waffling.